uh, for now, what kind of, because Malcolm was trying to ask what kind of uh, checks or measures you've put in place now that we realize that, uh, with, for instance, generators are no pens or bios or, uh, or phone. How did a big generating set, not one, not 10, not 15, not 20, uh, come into the prison and they're being owed, uh, owned by prisoners? Do we have a VIP section uh, in our prisons? As a matter of fact, we don't have VIP prisoners. Are the generators uh, for hire or rent from the outside or by wardens? If they're not owned by the VIP among the prisoners? As a matter of fact, we don't have VIP prisoners in the prison. Those generators you talk about were brought in by the clergymen who came in for worshipping and sometimes use it to, in the churches and the mosques. The, the clergy, uh, the Muslims, uh, maybe the imam, and the pastors who come in, do you also frisk them to see that they're not taking anything into the prison, like phones? or any kind of weapon that could have uh, some insurrection in the prison or an escape? We do. We do always. Then how did they get so many things in the prison? Uh, magic? <coughs> all over the world. All over the world. In any prison, all over the world. What the, what what I want to do is to build the security. It is the most secure prison in the world. One of our prisons uh, online, this one yesterday, one of the prisons in in US, somebody brought in a helicopter to come and rescue someone. But this, this is the phenomenon all over the world, trying to build the security. But we have realized our shortcoming, and the new controller general, I said he is not going to just tolerate this any longer. I think I think I think I think Nigerians say we should go beyond statements. He's just been there for less than seventy-two hours, and we have seen another attempt or another break in uh, Mina prison. And uh, uh, just a moment here, I'm coming. I, I, I'll give you time to respond. And the issue you try to paint about uh, the United States or another country, someone bringing helicopter, that same prisoner could not get out. And we are saying the frequency of jail breaks or insurrection in our prison service or in our prisons, and the amount of phones and other well facility or equipment like generating sets well in our prisons is alarming. And one wonders how these things find themselves of in our prisons. That's what we want to know. Since the appointment of the new court, like. Uh, Can I go on now? No, you go ahead. Yeah. Since the appointment of the new controller general, he has visited most of the prison along anywhere he goes to and tell them that we cannot to stop. He was only appointed on Friday and you say he has visited how today's Monday. Mr. Fatinuki was appointed on Friday. And he was appointed on Friday and this is Monday. Do you know that two hours yesterday he was in Mina? And he visited all the service chief in Mina. We left Mina yesterday at 6 p.m. to Abuja. And since then, we didn't sleep. We were monitoring those who were recaptured up to this morning. And that is why I was able to tell you that the, those who masterminded the, the, the uh, attack, the escape, was arrested at 12.30 p.m. a.m. this morning. How many of them uh, did, uh, did you arrest? As of today, we have, uh, at this morning, we have arrested more than five of them. No, I'm talking about those, the masterminds of this particular break in Ramina. There are three of them who were brought in at 12 a.m. this morning. Those who masterminded their time. Well, that is the uh, break in Mina. You've been able to, I think, we were told that 200 people escaped. You say you've been able to uh, rearrest, uh, is it 135? Is that a figure you have? 105. 105 out of the 200 yes. people who escaped? Yes. 
Okay, but what about the prison break in Ekiti? How many have you been able to rearrest? Because we understand that uh, you're still asking for useful information from the public. At, at the at Ekiti, the open house today is 183. You have back in, within yourselves 193 inmates? Yes, in Adoikiti today. In Adoikiti. How many more are you looking for? We are looking for about 200 more. You're looking for about 200 more. Now, just quickly though, let's talk about the state of infrastructure because some people say that the only way this was allowed to fester, uh, this came to light when uh, the uh, Minister for Interior visited the uh, prison in Lagos, the medium prison in Lagos. We saw the state of you know, the watch houses. We also saw the state of the prisons in general. And we recall that in Cotton Cafe when uh, the, the jailbreak happened, uh, the, the controller general, beg your pardon, not the controller, I, I think the director of prisons there did say that uh, it, it happened in the darkness. There was no electricity. That's the reason why those criminals were able to get away with what they did. Uh, what exactly is the state of infrastructure right now in the prisons? Has anything been done to ensure that at least the prisons have light guard around the perimeter of the prison? Uh, no, uh, let, let me tell you what in, in 1981. I'm listening to you. I can hear you. Okay. In 1981, the then president, President Kagari, proposed for the seven prisons to be built across the country. I said in 1981, the then president proposed 47 prisons to be built across the country. Okay. If those, for example, those were built between 81 and 85, by now those prisons will have been obsolete. You all agree now. But those, those buildings were not completed up to now. Okay. Th that now, also came to light in Cotton Cafe. But uh, please yes, go ahead. That, that one, one of them was in Kotokanfe, which is still ongoing, which was, which was started in 1981. Mm -hmm. like, okay, the only 20 that have been completed. Mm -hmm. we, we have to realize that most of these buildings are old. Some of them are built in, 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 in 1900, some of them in 1800. Okay. We have some prisons that, that you know, uh, are, are built by mud. I don't want to mention uh, prison. We also noticed the, that in, in Kogi as well. We, we, we saw that in Kogi. Yes, please go ahead. Uh, so, we, we have this problem too of some of these our uh, structures are old. Okay. We, we have problem too that uh, uh, an attacker knows when you, an attacker knows when he comes the only place we can run into is to the prison. For example, if you have something, I'm, I'm not, I'm, if you have something like uh, ATC to counter uh, external attack, we, we have something like uh, helicopter to, to, to move around them. This, I'm not, I mean, it's not, it's not an excuse, but just try, this will reduce the external attack issue. Okay, but tell us, I mean, what exactly is the state of security? You have said that you've acknowledged as much that the infrastructure is real. I mean, some of them you say uh, that new prisons were ordered to be built in the country around 80, 1981. Uh, but, you know, not a lot of them have been completed, which we have seen. It's been very obvious in most of the attacks that have happened. But tell us what the state of security is. If we, even if we have old infrastructure, how many prison officials do we have guarding uh, the prison walls? And what state are they usually in? Do they have arms? Are they allowed to carry arms? Or do you do this in conjunction with other security agencies? What exactly is the collaboration? <laughs> In all our prisons, we have what we call the armed guard. Okay. That carries arms. Um, and in collaboration with the police, sometimes the, the, the armed forces. In all the prisons? In most 
of the prison. In most of the prisons. So in the places where they have taken place, is it that the armed guards were absent or what exactly was the state of the armed guards? The, the, the armed guards were present. Uh, they were overpowered. By the prisoners? Like that of Ate Kiti. It, it, it was an external attack and that of Kogi, uh, that, I mean Kotokanse, was an external attack. They, they were overpowered by superior uh, 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 arms. Mr. Fatuniku, even, even that in, in Katokanse, immediately it happened, the bank of Liberia got in touch with the Secretary General of Police and the Chief of Army Staff and they sent uh, other, other uh, people to their rescue. But unfortunately, before they got there, the damage has been done. Mr. Fatuniku, if I may come in here, you've talked about um, old infrastructure. The, question, the other question will be, are your personnel, I mean your infrastructure in terms of personnel, do you have, are they properly trained? Yes, we are properly trained. How much of training do you get, or how often do you get be trained for the protection of the prisons? We are properly trained, but uh, it, it can be improved on. It can, it can be improved on. on. Would you want to shed more light on that? Uh, what I mean is that it can be improved, the frequency can be improved on. Okay, let's let's go back to the, the prison break in Mina. Because the okay. public relations officer there said it was an external attack. He was quoted as saying that it was an external attack and they lost about 270 inmates. But you said there were much less than that. And it was an internal attack. Isn't that what you said? Yes. If you listen to the Consular General of Prison yesterday. Yes. If you listen to him yesterday on your channel, he said it was an internal attack and not external attack. So, do you, are you having problems with the information sharing within your system? I, I am not sure that the, the PRO there spoke with the journalist yesterday. Okay, when are we likely to get uh, uh, the results of findings on this particular one? This particular one, I can show you before uh, 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 Wednesday, I'll, I'll be able to give you update on it. Mr. Fatunik, we would like to thank you. Two now that uh, another one has been recovered, that makes it 156. Oh, that's a, a breaking story now. Another one has been yeah, recovered. Yes, another one has been recovered. Well, uh, that's uh, quite uh, some soothing news there. But anyway, I think we'll wait because for you. Uh, you know, yesterday um, when the incorporation uh, Mr. Fatunik, I think uh, we're really out of time now. We'll wait for you on Wednesday to see uh, the outcome of uh, investigations on this particular one and uh, as you said that the new control general prisons has been going around prisons and uh, we hope that we get to see a stop to all of this uh, well for some nigerians well they really cannot uh, understand why our prisons or our jails we should have uh, some of these uh, uh, anomalies uh, phone calls phone usage and we understand that some even go home and come back when they need to do audit I think that is a, 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 an overhaul as the governor of Akita State did put it would uh, purge some of these uh, in our prison service uh, Mr. Okwe Fatunikum once again we thank you for coming I want to assure right. you I want to assure you as for Nigeria that the consular general of prison Dr. Peter Evan Kendo is up to the time. All right, okay, so I said we'll take a moment now. We'll return shortly. Join us again.